Hi, I am excited about today's video because I started it one way and then I realized that I was using the same colors that are used in a DSP pack. And so I ended up using some designer series paper in my project also. This is Lisa Goodell, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and thank you for watching my videos. I want to let you know that customers can order from the new catalog starting on May 2nd, so that's just a few days away, and most of what I am showing you today is using new colors and stamps. I'm also going to announce the winners of my giveaway during this video, um, and I did that to celebrate getting 500 subscribers to my YouTube channel. I do want to remind you that I put out a video every Friday night and I hope to do more when I'm on summer break in June and July. So I've started off stamping already and I am using a new color called Berry Burst and the stamp set I'm using is Cheerful Daisies. And that is a stamp set that is a part of the Fresh as a Daisy Sweet. And uh, that is featured on the cover of the new annual catalog that starts May 2nd, 2023. Other colors that I used were Lemon Lolly, that's the yellow color. And then I also did some stamping in Pretty Peacock. Now I'm going to start using the Cheerful Daisies dies to cut out some of the stamped images. While I'm doing that, I wanna announce the winners of my giveaway. The grand prize winner is Becky, and she gets samples of the ribbon and gem shown in the picture there. And then I had four second place winners and they get a stamped card from me. And those go to Barbara, Jessica, Linda, and Beth. Congratulations, and I will get those out in the mail in the next week. So next I'm going to cut a piece of Pretty Peacock, a solid color cardstock for uh, the layer that's gonna go on top of the white card base. And I am cutting this Pretty Peacock color right now at five and three eighths inches by four and one eighth inches. And I really like this color. This is one of the new colors. It's actually returning. I guess it was a part of the colors a few years ago. And I also want to have some leaves die cut out of the same color. And so what I'm going to do to save on cardstock is use the die cut on that same piece of paper. But if you notice, I'm not putting it up to the very corner. I'm not putting it up to any of the edges because I'm gonna want that little tiny narrow border that's going to be layered. And so I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm only gonna use three of the die cuts on this card. However, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I think I end up cutting six out of the paper just because I like this color so much, I know, I know I'm gonna keep using it. And I also love this stamp set. So let me go back to a second when I stamped. You can see the two daisy stamps there. I stamped it first on the bottom in the really dark color, and then I stamped it a second time without re-inking it so I would get a lighter color of the berry burst. Now I cut the dark flower out with the big outline die cut, and then the inner die cut, that's what I cut out on the lighter pink color. And that's what I'm turning over right now. And I'm gonna add some glue to it, and then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to put it on the center of that darker flower. And when I'm finished with this one, then I'm going to do the same thing with the other two flowers.
Next, I'm going to glue on the yellow centers. And after this, I'm going to show you the designer series paper that I am going to be using that ends up using these colors in it. And it is called Bright and Beautiful 6x6 Designer Series Paper. And it is going with a new suite that's coming out called Bright and Beautiful. And that is like the happy birthday or celebration set with balloons. And the colors in this are Azure Afternoon, Berry Burst, Blueberry Bushel, Bubble Bath, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, and Pretty Peacock. And all those colors are brand new colors that are coming in the new catalog starting May 2nd. Um, a few of those colors could be returning colors, meaning that they were not in the catalog for the last few years, but they could have been an in color or um, in the lineup of colors at some point in the past. And I love these backgrounds because some of them uh, I when I got this, I thought it was all going to be like celebration and happy birthday type stuff. But really, um, look at that blue. That could be the ocean. It could be sky. Um, of course, they do have some celebration type backgrounds, but they have stripes. They just have different designs that could be used for all sorts of things. Now I'm going to score my cardstock base, which is eight and a half by five and a half. And at four and a quarter is where I use the scoring tool to score it on the paper trimmer. And now I'm using the bone folder to get a crisp fold. And now I'm gonna decide uh, which layer of DSP I need to put on top of my pretty peacock layer. And so I just need to try out a few ones, and I think they all look great, but I did choose one particular one to do, use for my card today. And this last one is the one that I chose. So now I'm going to trim that layer for my last layer, and that is going to be cut at five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. I'm going to speed up some of the assembly of the card and then I'm going to slow it back down when I get to the very last embellishments to talk about that a little bit.
Okay, I'm going to turn down the volume on the music for a minute while I put on the ribbon for the stamped image. And uh, this ribbon is called Textured Ribbon and it comes in all the brand new in colors for 23 to 25. And so the color I'm using there is Boho Blue. And the other thing that I got to thinking after I did that is that I think I should have made it a little longer. So you'll notice in the description for this um, video that I suggested making it more like three and a half inches wide. After I put the sentiment on, then I am going to get out my Wink Estella glitter pen, which I really think is amazing. It really adds a lot of glitter to your card and it is super fast and it dries really quickly. And so here I am putting that on. This stuff is also great because it does not make a mess like traditional glitter does. Other things I'm going to finish up my card with will be putting on some dots around the edge of the yellow part and that's going to be with the Wild Wheat Stampin' Marker. And I'm also going to put on some sequins. And the ones that I'm going to put on are the little pink sequins from the pastel adhesive backed sequins and at that point i'll be done with the front of my card but then i will also have you watch me do the inside of the card which is another white layer and then i just have scraps from the dsp and the pretty peacock that i add in there so i just want to thank you for watching please give me a thumbs up leave any comments or questions that you have in uh, the comments i will be sure to reply and the last thing i should have said this earlier but someone did ask me how to find uh, the description on a YouTube video. And so if you don't know how to do that, if you look at your screen of the video and if you look right below it, it might um, give the date and the title of it and then it might start to give a description but the sentence might be cut off. But it might say dot, dot, dot more or read more and so if you click on that more button or the dot 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 then it's going to give the full description which includes all the measurements and stamp sets and all the supplies used and usually it also includes a link if you want to purchase any of the supplies i also have announcements on there i give information on using my host code and getting host code perks which means you get free stuff you could get your name entered into a drawing once a month uh, there's all kinds of um, good information to get in the description so uh, please start doing that to get more information from my videos and also from any videos that you watch so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i hope you love this card as much as i do i'm going to turn up the music and let you listen to that thanks for watching